This Citizens Forum is presently being transmitted live on electronic media and it is also being streamed on all social media networks the world over. At the moment, therefore, Ebony State, the salt of the nation, is the focus of the media locally and internationally. This forum, ladies and gentlemen, is meant to enable citizens and any interested party, wherever, to engage the leadership in Ebony State right now on issues relating to development and the provision of the dividends of democracy here or through the social media. Ladies and gentlemen, as we commence this live citizens forum in Abakaleke, the salt of the nation, Eboy State Capital, with Martin Elechi on the saddle and Labaram Mapu as the driver, with the good people of Eboy State as our passengers, may we storm the heavens with prayers so that we have a heat-free discussion and interactive session this afternoon. So at this stage, ladies and gentlemen, I will invite the current president, Ebony State, in the person of Reverend Dr. Emmanuel Inchi, to please come forward and lead us in the opening prayers. Reverend Dr. Emmanuel Inchi. Okay. May we pray. Our most gracious Father, we have gathered here to give you all the glory that is due to you. We want to express our gratitude to you. We really acknowledge the fact that you love a bony state. And that is why you have brought us together in this manner today to fully see what you are doing on this ground. The entire achievements that stands very having gathered today that you will be with us. That you will also assist us to actually carry out the very assignment for which we gathered here today. So that at the end of all the exercise, you alone will be glorified. We thank you for the apex men, and particularly the man from whose hand you have also done what we all are celebrating today. Thank you, because we pray now believing that you have taken your chair here to really carry out your own duties in your capacity. Thank you for we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you very much uh, Reverend Dr. Emmanuel Inshi. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we've told you that this program is live on the electronic media and the social media. In order for those of you who are here and those who are not here with us to follow and send in whatever questions they have for us as this program goes on, would want to give you the addresses of the social media where you can reach us. And at this stage, I will now invite my colleague, Yahaya Umar of FRCM, to please come forward and read out the addresses of the social media where you can reach us with whatever questions you want to raise as this program progresses. Yahaya Umar. Thank you, Peter. Your Excellency, Honorable Minister, distinguished guests, our listener and viewers all over the world. The social media team is tracking your inputs on the websites. This tracking began immediately we finished the last state before this one. In the quest 
for good governance. This moment, Ebony State is the subject. We are live on radio, television, online, and on mobile. In reading out your inputs, Peter Dama, my colleague, as usual, shall set the place. He shall set the pace while I compliment afterwards. Connect with us via the network service of Radio Nigeria, also streaming live at www.radionigeria.net. That's Radio Nigeria, the network service of Radio Nigeria, also streaming live at www.radionigeria.net. NTA International. NTA International, Ben Television London, also on www.bentelevision.com. And we are fortunate to have the chief executive with us here. So we'll expect a very beautiful coverage. Ben Television London, also on www.bentelevision.com. Dar Communications, owners of Africa Independent television dar communications owners of africa independent television the news agency of nigeria none the news agency of nigeria none the vibrant nigerian print media is also here represented the vibrant nigerian print media is also here represented we're talking about the newspapers around nigeria we also have an enthusiastic audience here at the venue of our town hall meeting in the capital of Ebony State. That's Abakaliki. We also have an enthusiastic audience here present. So participate in the village forum, also known as the Citizens Forum, using the following. www.fmi.gov.ng That's the Federal Ministry of Information website www.fmi.gov.ng The Facebook address remains facebook.com forward slash FMI Nigeria for the Facebook followers. Facebook.com forward slash FMI Nigeria. And for the Twitter followers, please use the Twitter handle, which is at FMI Nigeria. The Twitter handle is at FMI Nigeria. There is also live streaming on the net. So watch live events as they unfold at livestream.com forward slash FMI Nigeria. Livestream.com forward slash FMI Nigeria. For those that wish to send email messages, please do so as you join us on info at fmi.gov.ng. For your emails, use info at fmi.gov.ng. Uh, we've realized people around the world use this forum, very, use this uh, medium very, very well. So for your SMS only, those that are within the whole or outside within Nigeria and beyond, use 0809-187-6419. SMS only. 0809-187-6419. And one more number. 0807-259-6415. 0807-259-6415. Please do not call. Only SMS. For broadcasts uh, via BlackBerry phone, please... The BlackBerry PIN is 292816FB, if you want to contribute via your BlackBerry phones. 292816FB, that's the BlackBerry PIN. You may also send handwritten texts in hard copies. That means you can write within the hole on a clean sheet of paper in capital letters only. Please, you may use... English or pigeon, capital letters only, English or pigeon. No personal issues, please. No personal, personal issues, only development questions or contributions. Thank you. Peter?
Thank you very much, uh, Yahya Omar. Uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we have been told since we came in that the Kola Knot in Igbo land does not speak English. We have been presiding over this uh, town hall meeting since we came into the southeast with English. Anyway, we've been trying to teach uh, Kola Knot how to speak uh, Bagi language from the FCT, Abuja. So since uh, Kola North does not speak English, we are going to present it. And at this stage, I will invite Donatus Owo from the Ebony State Broadcasting Corporation to please come forward and preside over the presentation of the Kola Notes. Donatus. Thank you very much. Uh, Onu abe kwa bagi na ma oje kache no asusu ebony ana mam na honorable minister of information onu abu ibofuma kono so na minister i minister of health an mario ka ebunye oje biye onye si i governor i ogaji na batando biya ochudo no mwea oje akaraka oje akoro na ebony state ochudo oje abia. Kebiye <laughs> Honorable Minister, I will interpret that letter. <laughs> but all oh, that's coming. Minister of uh, Information, the leader. Oh, yeah, Jizaki Aiko Oji. Piko Kenya Ochu Doji, Gora Kojia. Okay, speaker, we're going Chief Judge, never is Yoji. President, Customary Court of Appeal, never Oji. Chairman, PDP. Prince, never Oji. Kenya Oji to Professor Chigazi Obo, former Deputy Governor, Town Chairman Chukwaji, um, Engineer Chief Elias Mbam Georgi, SLG, Kenya Oji to Oji. Okay, there we go. Um, Deputy Governor, Eko Baroha. The Honorable Ministers, particular reference to the Honorable Minister of Information and National Orientation, Mr. Labaran Maku. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here this afternoon for a robust engagement for an intercourse of genuine minds, for an interplay of creative ideas, to produce the best result for the land we love so much. This concept, the National Good Governance Store, is a beautiful jewel on our democracy and actually raises hope for Nigeria, our commonwealth. We are happy that for once, credible performance auditors are in town. In a boy state, our story is peculiar. But we are, we are blessed with a governor, a man whose life is defined with vision, actions governed by principles, vintage Martin Wanchelechi. He is different because he is a governor that has a head and a heart. He has a head that thinks and a heart that feels. The result is the profound delivery on the Ebony promise. Chief Martin Wanchelechi sees the problem, feels the pain, and does something about it. Before now, 
He is the most misunderstood governor in Nigeria. But hopefully after this meeting, he will become the most celebrated governor in Nigeria. <laughs> History and posterity are his cherished companions. I wish not to preempt any judgment. I've also come not to speak for the people. I've only come to raise the issues to high consciousness. Honorable Minister, sir, as we welcome you, we want to say a big thank you to you for this great initiative. You are paying a big price for Nigeria, but I think there is no price that is too big for this land. Please, what you are doing is wonderful. Do it over and over and over again. On this note, I wish to say a big welcome to our guests and our visitors. On behalf of the governor, the government, and the people of Ebony State, all that we represent, the ones seen and unseen, welcome you to Ebony State and ask you, now that the projects themselves have spoken. May you go back home and tell the story. Ebony will be taken to the world and we believe that the world will be their path to Ebony State. Thank you very much. Appreciation to the government and people of Ebony State for the court seats we've received and uh, declared demonstration of hospitality uh, since we arrived the state uh, three days ago. It's been a busy time for us indeed. We've been going around the state, uh, the 13 local government areas in the state, seeing projects, life-changing projects, people-oriented projects, and uh, indeed, what we have seen on ground, they are worthy of uh, commendation. Before I uh, talk about one or two of the projects, I want to indeed state here that the participation of NUJ as a, an organization in this uh, good governance tour is a, form, a further demonstration of our commitment to discharging our constitutionally assigned rules of holding governments at various levels accountable. It's not enough for the governors to go to Abuja every month to receive allocations. We must have to also follow them up to ensure that the allocation they get from federal government every month also trickle down to the people in their various states through the implementation and indeed execution of projects that would make positive impacts on the life of the people of such states. So coming to the few projects uh, I want to talk about here within the time all allotted to me, we saw the Secretariat project uh, the water scheme, Oferebe water scheme, among the three water schemes in the state. Of course, the rice mill, the rice mill, uh, the 34 uh, unity bridges, we visited a few of them. And of course, road projects, the technical colleges. Indeed, I must state here that whatever we say here is very, very clear. We've not I've been asked to say anything, we are saying it the way we have seen them. And I want to tell us here that from what we have seen on ground, it's very, very clear that democracy is working in a boy state. Also, 
we visited a few federal government projects uh, of uh, particular interest is the uh, federal teaching hospital where we have been told that because of the takeover of the the uh, Ebony State Teaching Hospital and uh, its merger with the former Federal Medical Center, a lot of things have been done which indeed have gone a long way in improving healthcare delivery. The minister told us that, that uh, such issues as neonatal, child and uh, maternal mortality has indeed taken a downward turn. So there is reduction in that rate. So and. Uh, Accordingly, we want to applaud uh, that uh, worthy initiative. We also visited the Fistula Center and, of course, the Federal University of Iquo, the Akanibian Polytechnic, uh, the road projects uh, from Obiozara to Umpu, and all that. And uh, as AUJ, we want to state here that we appreciate the synergy existing uh, between the states and the federal government and of course the local government because it has helped a great deal in transforming the lives of the people of Eboi State. We want to commend that and on a last note I want to also as uh, somebody that is coming from uh, uh, a union I want to plead with the government of the state to also find a way and improve in improving its uh, relationship with our union by assisting them with uh, necessary uh, facilities to help them discharge their duties effectively. Once again, I want to thank the government and people of Ebony State. I want to commend the Federal Minister of Information for this uh, worthy initiative. Indeed, it has taken its roots and I want to assure us that having been asked to continue with this program, follow up some of the projects, especially those of them that are yet to be completed, we at the NUJ level in the southeast and across the country, we are going to follow them up and ensure that these projects continue and the people will be happy to have uh, made good choice in electing the present crop of leaders that we have on board. Once again, thank you and God bless you. We want to thank uh, the president of uh, NUJ, ably represented by his vice president, Southeast, Mr. Chris Isugozo, for the goodwill message. Uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, may I now invite the president of Ratao in the person of Mr. Yemi Sigbang Bose to also come forward and give us a goodwill message. Ladies and gentlemen, well, let me start by saying that it is obvious that the best was reserved to come last in the southeastern Nigeria. Yes, I said this because I have the opportunity of visiting uh, three. This makes it four out of the five states in the southeast. And I can say it clearly that it is only here in Eboin. I wasn't in Enugu. But out of the four states that I've visited so far, it's only here in Eboin that the full complements of democracy is put in place. Because here, we have the presence of the federal government, the state government is working, and also here, the local government is working. Because it's only here that somebody was introduced to us as a executive chairman of local government, which means that we have councillors, we have supervisory councillors, local government is in place. So we, we, we thank His Excellency for this.